Okay, we are inside JustPresa Studio. The first thing we want to do is to create a new project. So new project. And we will use this project as repository for our Jasper reports IO. I call this project like a repo. And uh, this is not necessary, but that's uh, a suggestion that I usually uh, give when working with Jasper reports IO. I want to create a new folder called repository. This is useful because I may store uh, temporary resources outside or in general, I want to be very specific of which is the root of my repository. Now here I can create a new port. For now, let's just create a very simple basic report. So this would be test, finish. And uh, let's add static text like this. All right. Now we want this report to show all the data, even if we don't provide any data. So when no data type, I want all section of the day. And uh, now we need to tell JasperSoft Studio that this repository is actually a Jasper Report IO repository. So I save this file. I select my project, right click, repository type, Jasper Reports IO. Finally, since the, re the report, uh, the repository root is not the project itself, but this folder, I need to specify that to JasperSoft Studio. So I will go to properties and inside JasperSoft Studio, uh, Jasper Reports IO, I will add this folder to the list of roots that compose my repository. A repository may have several roots, but I want just this uh, folder to be the root of my repository. Uh, I can preview my report. Now you'll see here that JasperSoft Studio is suggesting me that I'm working in the, the context of Jasper Reports IO. I will preview this report. This report is executed by our remote instance of Jasper Reports that is, uh, has been spawned on this port and uh, I see the result here. Please note that I can actually open a browser and uh, see my URL in external browser. Uh, this preview here is, uh, is the Jasper Reports IO preview tool that is uh, all HTML based. Okay, that's all for this video. In the next video that you will find in the description, we will continue all our set of videos about JasperSoft Studio and Jasper Reports IO. We will see how to create a more complex repository, how to create connections, and uh, also how to use custom visualization components inside Jasper Reports IO.